It is now time to answer some of your legal questions. So we turn to our Fox 26 legal analyst, Chris Tritico, uh, to take a look at these. Thanks for being with us. And let's begin with a question from Shandrika. She writes, at some point, fiber optic lines were run through my backyard. I don't know when or how long they've been there. I have been in my home since 2003 and have always had sewage problems. I called a company out for repairs. They assessed the sewage pipe with a camera and found the fiber optic cable runs through my sewer line. We replaced the pipe. The company who owns the line refused to refund the money. They claim it was a subcontractor who laid the line. I have called them for months with no return call. What are my chances of being compensated? So, Sean Driga, you got a couple of problems here. First, they, they are responsible. They hired the subcontractor, and that's their responsibility to ensure that the subcontractor does the job right. But here's your problem. You've been in that house since 2003. You've known about this since 2003. And so you've got a statute of limitations issue on this. You had two years from the date you knew or should have known about the issue. And so I, the, if you file suit, the company that you sue and I would sue both of them, quite frankly, they're going to claim that you waived, this has been waived by the statute of limitations. So that's the issue that you're going to have. I'm not telling you not to file suit, but you need to talk to the lawyer of your choice about whether or not the statute of limitations has, has expired or if through what we call the discovery rule, you didn't know until recently when you ran that camera down there and you can use the, what's called the discovery rule to revive the statute of limitations. Good luck. Boy, those statutes are kind of tight sometimes. They Two are. Years. And they are, and that's a very, it's a short window of opportunity. But yeah. that's be, that's so we have surety in in the system, and we don't people don't have to wait years right. uh, to defend themselves. Sure. Okay, let's take a look at our next question. It comes from Blake, who writes, I own a condo and the HOA property management company recently began a replacement project, ripping up a sidewalk. They say the only uh, that that was the only walkway to access mine and other units. The walkway is uneven and riddled with dirt, rocks and debris. I don't think it's safe, especially when it rains. Is there any recourse from either the HOA or the property management company for a time period of three to four weeks weather permitting? for alternate housing living expenses since the units cannot be safely accessed and no effort was made to provide an alternate safe way to enter and exit the units. Would the HOA have to take the action against the management company on my behalf? Blake, it's three or four weeks and they're replacing the sidewalk to make it safer and better for you. No is the answer. They do not have to provide you alternate housing. Um, they, they're doing the job they're supposed to do by keeping up, upkeep and ensuring that you have you do have a safe ingress and egress from your townhome. It's going to be a few weeks of, of difficulty for you to get in and out while they're doing it, but they have no obligation to provide you with alternate housing. And no lawsuit, no lawsuit lies here for them doing the job that you asked them to do and taking care of your property. Good luck. Okay, and our final question comes from Bruce, who writes, a law firm took 40% of my case. They also charged me another 36% for expenses. They ended up with 76% of the amount. Can they legally do that? Bruce, yes, they can. Now, expense, so when you hired the law firm, you signed a contract, a fee agreement that said you gave them 40% of the case. That's the standard agreement that law firms take in a plaintiff's personal injury case. You didn't tell me what your case was about, but I, it's got to be a personal injury case. Expenses are taken out on the top before the, before, um, the fees are, are, are distributed. It, fees are not taken out on a percentage basis. I think you're just telling me that it added up to 36%. Medical malpractice cases and things like that are very expensive for law firms to handle. And so I think that's what happened here. I know in my practice, we don't take a case that is going to result in us taking more than 50% of the, of, the, of the funds from the client. But cases can be very expensive to litigate. Sit down with the lawyer that represented you and go over this and find out why it was so expensive. But that's probably what happened here. Yeah. And yes, it's all legal. Good luck. Yeah, very eye-opening. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah. Okay, well, if you want to send us your legal questions, just hop on our website, fox26houston.com, and you can find Chris's segments under the Morning News tab. You want to see other past segments. And as always, for specific information and advice, contact an attorney of your choice.